So welcome everyone. Thank you for joining. We have Elizabeth, an iPhone, Lynette, Wendy, and we have Brian um, in here with me today. So welcome. Thank you all for joining. This is our first uh, Kaki Zome event. And um, for those of you who may not be familiar with me, my name is Laurie, and I am one of the co-owners with Satori Family Wellness Center, along with my mother, Annette, and my sister, Chiemi. And I'm also a certified Dao Calligraphy Master Teacher with Master Shah's Dao Academy. And today we are going to um, incorporate the Japanese tradition of kaki some, which I will teach or share more about with my, um, my training as a Dao calligraphy teacher. And so let's go ahead and start. And we'd love for you to put down in the chat um, where you're from. And later we'll be going through some exercises so you can also share there as well. So let's get started. Okay. So, Kakizome, wonderful. Thank you for your shirt. So, what is Kakizome? Um, so, today, oh, here's our agenda. I do have one. Um, we'll, I'll just share a little bit about what it means and then do a short meditation to reflect on our goals that you would like for 2023. I'll just um, share shortly for those of you who are not familiar with Dao calligraphy about what Dao calligraphy is. And we will be using one of the 10 greatest qualities of the Dao to write our calligraphy message today. And you don't have to have any training in writing. You can just do whatever you can do. Um, if you have a pen and, and paper, that would be great. If you have ink and a brush, we will go over that later. Uh, you can use that as well. And then we'll be writing our chosen calligraphy. And then I'll let you know about some of the next steps. Okay. So what is kakizome? So literally that means uh, the first writing. So it's a Japanese term for the first calligraphy written at the beginning of the year. And traditionally it is on January 2nd. So we are fitting with tradition. And so it is a New Year's tradition where you write your um, New Year's resolution with the brush and ink at the beginning of the year. And it's important for um, the new, this New Year's event, we wish for happiness or success in one's goals. And also for, the, for calligraphy students, uh, many take like shodo is the term for like the Japanese calligraphy um, training for progress in one's calligraphy writing because one's uh, calligraphy journey, um, just like Dao calligraphy, the Japanese shodo, it is like a, a training, uh, a training for your kind of your spiritual growth. And in modern times though, people often write out auspicious kanji. So, as you know, um, kanji is from the ch Chinese characters. And so we have, uh, we're gonna be integrate Chinese and Japanese here. So we will, I will have 10 out for you that you can choose from that you can connect with for this um, activity today, okay? But in the past, they often wrote like long poems and things like that. So just a short history of Kakizome for those of you who may be interested. Um, it goes back to the Heian period. So this is the period in Japan known as, um, well, the Heian is peace. And it started as a court event in ancient Japan. And they would actually kind of uh, really connect with nature. They would face the most auspicious direction as they rode. So this is more uh, held by like court, noble, People. But in the beginning of the um, 17th century, the um, Terakoya, like a private educational institutes, uh, mainly they were um, run by like maybe Buddhist institutes. Okay. 
I think it's one of our students who wants to try to join. Uh, oh. So usually uh, they were teaching like reading and writing to children of middle class and commoners. And so this kakizome practice became more widespread. And then in the Meiji era, era it, the government instituted a public system to provide basic education for the entire nation. So calligraphy classes became mandatory and a part of the public education curriculum. So you will see uh, it became a very uh, popular practice. And let me see if I have photos. There you go. So you can, um, I think this was like in a large gathering, people would gather to write their first um, writing of the year. So it is a quite a big event. And here, this is, um, there was a contest, an annual contest. Uh, uh, it says 3,000 people took place. And isn't that cool to see everyone's first writing? So you see people writing poems, all kinds of um, different things. Um, that you can write. So for us, we will just write um, a basic phrase or you can just write a character, okay? Um, and so traditionally, this process was written, it was a very sacred process and it was written with the ink and fresh water taken from the well on the morning of the New Year's day, which is called um, Wakamizu. And this water is believed to be holy. So some of you may be familiar with some blessed water. You know, Master Shah has his Tao water that you can have blessings for. I remember um, Malia, uh, you know, talking about going to the mountains, you know, in the Hawaiian um, tradition, the purest water is, you know, in the highest mountain source where it's, you know, pure. And, um, and she was gonna gather that water to actually do some calligraphy uh, tracing and writing. So this is like a sacred process to kind of use this holy water into your, uh, as with, with your ink when you write your piece. So for those of you who have da water, you can get a drop to add as we do today's activity. And then the other process is ink grinding. So I'll show you a, a stick later that when we, um, the practice is that you would meditate as you Use the water to make the ink. Okay, so we'll go through that process. And so the purpose of kakizome is to decide or to declare, you know, and wish for success in a goal, resolution, or an ambition for the year. And for Dao calligraphy students or students of calligraphy writing, it is also to display one's improvement in their writing. So for those of you who are taking uh, calligraphy writing classes, you know, whether myself or another Dao calligraphy teacher, this could be a wonderful way that you can track your progress. So as I mentioned, it was a very spiritual process. And um, so what we'll be doing, it's, it's really to clear our mind, to focus, on expressing our determination using beautiful lettering. So it was a special ritual. And I mentioned about using the fresh water, grinding the charcoal, the ink. And it's really like uh, they were really using their senses, right? To kind of, as it's mentioned, like the fresh scents wafts through the air and uh, you would dip your calligraphy brush, the pool of fresh ink, and you focus and you consider every line, dot, stroke, and stop. So it becomes a very meditative practice. And many of the writers would use a more traditional type of writing, as you noticed in the photo. But as we are students of Dao calligraphy, many of us, we will use the more cursive writing, okay? And um, we'll, I'll show you some basic ones, but, um, and maybe in the chat, if we have people who have not written calligraphy before, any type of calligraphy, Asian calligraphy or Dao calligraphy, please let me know in the chat and we will, I will um, show you a character that you could possibly write. Okay, so this is 
for the preparation. So if you haven't gotten this um, ready for you, you can get it now. So these are known as the four treasures of the study, both in Chinese and Japanese uh, calligraphy, and I'm sure other Asian calligraphy styles. So you have your brush, let's see here. And this one is more in the Japanese. I, I showed you a Japanese photo. I have my Dao calligraphy, I, I show what the Chinese type of um, tools, the ink. And this one here you see is an ink stick. This is where you uh, meditate and you grind the ink a bit. You have the ink stone. This would be the ink stone or um, some of the, like the Chinese one looks a bit more rounder. So every culture has its different shape. And you have paper. So if you do have, there is um, calligraphy paper that is wonderful. Ah, yes, so the year of the rabbit. So um, yeah, I don't, we don't write those, but thank you Heidi for joining. Um, if you know how to write rabbit, perfect. You can write what you would like for the students who are taking down calligraphy and want to write one of the other phrases, the 10 phrases, that is perfect as well. So yes. So if you know how to write rabbit, I, do, I, I apologize, I do not. Um, it is a water rabbit. Um, you could write tray too for water, but um, rabbit, yeah, we haven't studied because I'll let you know why we're not doing this any, but traditionally you can do anything you would like, okay? Um, because I'm integrating it with Dao calligraphy, uh, for the Dao calligraphy students, if you want to write the Dao calligraphy phrases, perfect. If you want to write any other um, word or phrase, such as like rabbit or, you know, what it might mean, um, the year of the rabbit this year is known to bring a bit more calm and peace. So that could also be something that you could write as well. Okay, so let's, so let's get started on our meditation. So what I would want you to do is close your eyes and you can just sit down and get comfortable and I want you to re reflect upon your past year 2022 and just notice how that year the year of the water tiger went for you you might have had you know, very exciting positive moments maybe some challenges and just notice what areas come up for you that you felt like, you know, this is what I would like to transform this year or accomplish this year. I may not have gotten to it, but I had hoped to, but I didn't. Or um, all of these challenges that I had, uh, it might be helpful if I develop this quality. For example, a more calm, uh, presence or maybe focusing on self-care or, you know, I want to start a, a project. So choose at least one goal to focus on for today's Kakizome. And you can write it down for yourself on another piece of paper or, you know, on your phone or something that you can notice it, or at least in your mind, uh, what is your goal that you want to focus on with this uh, process today. And if you have more than one come to mind, just write it down. You know, hopefully later in this year, we will have more opportunity. We also have maybe classes and series that we can attend to and focus to accomplish our goals. So this is to start us off with a good positive energy. And then you might it would, might be helpful for us to you know, do other processes and practices to fulfill that goal. So I would write it down. I notice sometimes people don't remember their goals, which means that it, they may not be focusing on them or working on them. Okay, wonderful. Perfect. Okay. So I'll give you a few moments to maybe write it down if you haven't already.
Wonderful. So I'm just writing as well. And for Dao Calligraphy students, um, if you would also like to focus on a Dao Calligraphy writing goal, you know, uh, maybe you'd like to practice more daily or you would like to learn a certain character, maybe the one that we have, or um, refine it. So you can think, so at least maybe one Dao Calligraphy goal and one, you know, other goal, at least one. You can do more, but a lot of times when you just focus your attention and energies on one, it can be very helpful. Great. And you can, if you want to put them down in the chat, you can as well. What can be helpful is that, um, you know, when you put it out there and declare it to the universe, it brings more positive um, energy and attention. And all of us here in line will cheer for you and your goal. So we get much more positive energy coming up. So one of my goals, I'm just going to share one. It's coming up a lot. Um, I've never had time to really clean my house for years. <laughs> but I am having, that is, is one of my goals. And I'll put that one out there. So maybe next year when we have this process, you can follow up on that with me. Oh. And let me know if anyone needs more time to put down their goals. So you want to note them? Okay. So for those of you who are done, just allow yourself to um, connect with those goals. Okay, kind of put them in your heart. Notice actually in your body where you might be uh, feeling, like when you're thinking about your goals, how your body is feeling. Like, are you feeling like, yes, I can do it? Or are you feeling like, oh, I'm not sure, right? So, and notice in your body where you might be feeling the blockage or the hesitation. So this is not only going to be something that we can, uh, it's a little bit more than the traditional kakizumi practice. It's also going to be a healing and uh, a blessing for all of you as well with our Tao calligraphy. But think about it, where are you feeling that blockage? Maybe you can also check the number. Like how confident are you in your goal right now as you're thinking about, okay, like for me, I want to, one of my goals is getting my house in order, clean. And I have another goal, uh, right? My Dao calligraphy goal. And just kind of noticing in my body, like how believable it seems to me, how confident I am. And um, so, I, you know, you can put down your number at the beginning of this process. I have my number. I have a ways to go on my confidence as well. But we will use this process, the Kakizome process, as well as the Dao calligraphy to help us. We'll see how we feel at the end. So with the, uh, everyone has their goals. Feel free to um, share them in the chat if you like. And okay, so, oh, so now we're gonna go through our exercise to choose what we will write. And for students of Dr. Master Shaw, or if you're a Dao calligraphy student, we tend to focus our writing on these 10 different qualities um, that we have. And so I'm going to read, I want you to do this in a meditation. So you can close your eyes. You can open it once in a while. If you are not familiar with the calligraphy, I will show you the calligraphy, but I will kind of read to you what is some of the wisdom with each of these qualities. So with your um, goal, there might be a common theme and it might be something that you might need to help move you and clear the blockages to bring this success in the goals. So one of these qualities would definitely have it if you are interpreting these qualities correctly, okay? So um, 
the, we have 10 of them. Um, these are the first five. I'll go over it individually. So, you know, um, don't worry about them. Okay. And from Daher She to or Greatest Harmony to Greatest Enlightenment. These words are in Chinese. It's not in Japanese um, because this is how we've learned them. So thinking about your goal and how you're feeling in your body, close your eyes. I'm going to, um, okay. You can use the power techniques for those of you who are not used to meditating. You can put both of your hands, one hand on your uh, lower abdomen, one hand on your heart. So you can really do what your heart is, is wanting, right? And then you can also ground yourself. And you're gonna connect. So you're gonna say, dear my own soul, heart, mind, and body. And for those of you who have spiritual fathers and mothers that you want to connect and align treasures, uh, which are like Tao treasures, services that you want to um, turn on, or you can do so. But for um, generally, for if you're new, just your own soul, heart, mind, and body. You want to feel it in your soul, heart, mind, and body. Which of these qualities resonate with you that you feel can be helpful, the positive message to help you reach your goal. And that would be the character you can choose or um, connect with, with this process, okay? So dear my own soul, heart, mind, and body, we usually give ourselves love and gratitude. We love you, um, appreciate you. You have the power to connect with the proper, uh, most appropriate, word, character, phrase for us for this process. Do a great job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And just allow yourself to imagine with a creative visualization as I'm reading about each of the qualities and then you see the calligraphy, that the light of the calligraphy is gonna come to help support you in your goal, okay? So just this meditation practice will also be a, a blessing opportunity, even before we write, okay? And then um, the sound power is, you can just maybe chant the, the, and see how that feels for you. So if it's like greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, that's the first one. You can notice how that feels. Okay. And just breathe naturally. Um, Dao calligraphy power, if you want, for those of you who are familiar with this and want to trace to see, ah, which one resonates with you, you wanna do perfect as well. But you can just close your eyes and meditate. Okay, wonderful, thank you. Wonderful, so people are already sharing in the chat. Um, most appropriate of priority. This is great. Um, great, so we have goals of finishing the book writing. So let's give, Positive energy to Heidi for that. It's active service. We have goals to travel to two countries, Mercedes, and um, we have others who have mentioned. Perfect. So let the light of the calligraphies come. So the first one is greatest love, da, I. And I'm just going to read the uh, English so to speak up things. So you have a sense of what it means. Or maybe I'll do both. Isha da'ai. First, give greatest love to others and humanity. Give unconditional love. Melts all blockages or melts all disasters and challenges. Clean and purify the heart and enlighten the soul, heart, and mind. So da'ai. So this is a calligraphy of da'ai. Imagine the light coming into you, in your body where you're you know, wanting to clear that blockage. And you can trace the eye, see if this is the character that you would like to write for your first piece. For beginners, I would probably suggest just writing this dot, okay? Or go with eye. So this will clear the blockages, purify our heart, which is known to be very important. So thinking about your goals, see if da'ai resonates to be your phrase. Okay, da'ai. 
Second is Da Guan Xu, greatest forgiveness. This might be good for relationships or things like that. Second is greatest forgiveness. I forgive you. You forgive me. Love, peace, and harmony. So this is greatest forgiveness. Da Guan Xu. And here is a, a picture of Da Kaliafi Da. So the first uh, character is the same for all. So you can actually write just Da. It could be your piece. Wang. And so if you haven't learned it already, um, you don't be intimidated. <clears throat> I will have a character that you can write, but you will have the intention of doing this phrase. So let's say Da Kuan Shu is what resonates with you. Like I really need forgiveness for myself and others because um, I want to you know, transform some emotional things. We will have the intention of Da Kuan Chu, but we will just focus on Da. So you can just write Da, so don't worry about it. But here you have the opportunity to feel the love and light of Da Kuan Chu, greatest forgiveness. The third is greatest compassion, Da Tsi Bei. And the meaning of Da Tsi Bei is really to boost energy, stamina, vitality, immunity, and rejuvenate. If you have any goals along these areas, you can, that this might be for you. The sacred wisdom of Da Tsi Bei is third is greatest compassion. So these, the third means the third greatest Dao qualities that our, our teacher teaches us. So it's greatest compassion and it increases and uplifts willpower. Serve humanity, virtue is immeasurable. So those of you who have energy, stamina, willpower, you want, you know, you don't feel motivated, this might be the character that you might want to write or connect with to help push through some of that. So just notice how it feels to you. This is Da Tsi Bei. This is in a card. So I'll just kind of trace once for all of you. Imagine the light coming in through the calligraphy. So one of the differences of Dao calligraphy versus regular calligraphy or like Shodo um, that you know I've learned uh, many years ago. I'm just a beginner, um, but took up Dao calligraphy. So Shoto is an expression of your inner soul. It has much beauty and um, many facets to perfect that art. Uh, Dao calligraphy is a little different. It is made for purposes of healing and transformation. So when we connect with one of these phrases, Dao phrases, and the Dao calligraphy, this is written by our teacher, Dr. Master Qigong Sha. It carries a high frequency and vibration that can uh, support us, can heal, bless, transform the negative information we carry, such as the blockages uh, we carry, to make things easier and smoother. So even for me, as I noticed where I was earlier, um, in my confidence level of my goals, I'm actually feeling a lot lighter in my chest. Fourth is greatest light. And it's I am within Tao source light so or universal light. Whatever your spiritual belief system, you can think of the highest source light um, you know, that you feel comfortable with. Uh, but in this one, it means I am within the light, Tao source light. Tao source light is within me. So you're in, we're in the light. It's within you. Our whole body is transparent or light, filled with light and transparency. So we're kind of developing this light body for those of you who are familiar with Master Shah's teaching. The greatest light is known for healing, rejuvenation, prevention of conditions, uh, transformation, and more. So see if this resonates for you. This is Da Wang Ming. Trace it for you. Okay. So again, just use your heart. Don't, you don't need to use your head to see which one is the one for you. Just allow yourself to be open to all of them, but you probably have one. This is, ah, I connect with that one. 
There's no wrong answer. So anyone you choose will be per will be wonderful. Okay. Da greatest light. Imagine the light coming from the calligraphy. The fifth one is greatest humility. Greatest humility is known to prevent, prevents and heals ego in order to grow persistently. So I'm sorry, it's supposed to be fifth is greatest humility. Gentle, soft, and weak, do not fight, strive, or argue. Continue to move forward with vigor. If you lose humility, you can fall infinitely deep. So this is to caution us about our ego or, you know, um, the fighting nature or that, you know, arguing nature or feeling like I'm always right or I'm the best or the yin part of it, like that you're not good enough. That's also the yin um, type of ego, okay? Because we're all, you know, equal, okay? So greatest humility, da chenbe, okay? So this is da chenbe, greatest humility. So some of you may have learned it. I'm just kind of retracing it for you. For those of you who've taken it, you know, you could probably write any of these phrases. We're just choosing which ones resonates with you. Even if you haven't learned calligraphy, you can still think of which phrase might be most helpful for your goals. It's greatest humility. And we will just write that. Okay. Six is Da Hershey, secret of success. Six is greatest harmony. Three people who join hearts together, their sharpness or their strength can cut gold. The secret, the profound secret and key to success. So greatest harmony. Feel, you can look at the calligraphy and just feel, tracing it for you on screen. Let's see if this resonates for you. I was just reminded that some of you may have taken some workshops with us um, and may have had readings for what dial quality you know, is helpful for different things. You know, like I had one for flourishing. I had one for like that secret of uh, the celebration of joy, right? That we just recently had this last month. So sometimes some of you may have um, also connect with that. Mine's just Darshi, so I remembered it for joy and giving and receiving the heart. Da Chang Shang, greatest flourishing, the engine for further achievement. And Dao Tzu Ying Fu, Dao bestows huge prosperity, luck, and success. Offer kind service, accumulate good virtue, dull career flourishes. So you can look at the data. Some time at Da Changshan, greatest flourishing. Okay. It's it with Da Changshan, greatest flourishing. And then greatest gratitude. So you can read some of the lines. The key for progress. So eight is greatest gratitude. Dao creates. The or virtue nourishes. Dao bestows wisdom to all. The honor of Dao will stay in our hearts forever. So some of you may know of a different translation. This is from the newest Dao calligraphy book for healing depression and anxiety. 
but um, here is the da kanten. So feel the light, see if greatest gratitude resonates with you for your goal to help you manifest your goal. So the positive message, the positive frequency and vibration will support you. Two more, da fu wu, greatest service, purpose of life in every aspect. Nine is greatest service, vow to serve humanity. Selflessly devote yourself to serve others. The highest method and gate to enlightenment. Da fu wu, okay, so this is greatest service. Many of you on the line I know are all wonderful servants. This might resonate with many of us. But again, you can choose what seems most appropriate for you today. And the last one is Da Yuan Man, greatest enlightenment, the ultimate achievement in one's life. So this is according to our teacher. Um, Master Shah's wisdom. Tenth is greatest enlightenment, soul, heart, mind, and body enlightenment. And this one talks about then the Chen Dao Shen Cheng Ti, um, about the levels to enlightenment, becoming a saint, human, mother earth, heaven, and Dao saint. And unconditional service is the only way to climb up heavens and Dao's stairs. Da Guan Ma. For those of you who are interested in the Dao calligraphy writing series that I'm going to be offering this month, we may do finish up a greatest enlightenment. One. So feel how each of these calligraphies felt for you. And we're going to um, choose which calligraphy that you would like to write. So you can maybe write down in the chat if you like. For those of you who are new and may not be familiar with the writing, you can still have the intention of which phrase you might want to connect with or um, character that you want. You know, I know we talked about like, the year of the rabbit. Um, and I don't know the rabbit, but like I know it was it's to symbolize maybe like it's supposed to be more peace, calm, balance. You can see if there's any of the characters that kind of connected to you with that. And um, let me show you the writing that you can do. So if you don't have ink, I'm going to show you, okay, let me highlight this one. I'm going to show you my, um, I, so hopefully you can, can you hear me? Okay. Um, I, I'm not going to be able to hear, so sorry. Yes, we can hear you. So hopefully you can hear me. We can um, hear you. Okay, great. So you want to get your paper ready. So this is my paper here. If you have your ink well, I have a ink well here, your brush and water. So for those of you who are using ink and brush, um, and if this is your first time with ink, you know, you might want to make sure you dip it in water first um, to saturate the brush. And then, um, Mm 
So just so you can see, you can uh, wet your brush first, you know, um, and I was I wanted to show you, let me see what you can write. I think I have it on my PowerPoint actually. So let me share my screen. So this is right for those of you who have not, don't know what to write or like don't know how to write it, but you know what you wanna write. You can write da, just da. The da can stand for any of the 10 greatest qualities. Da means greatest, like the greatest quality. And when you're writing the da, you just connect with the intention of the other phrases. So let's say, you know, um, da fu or greatest service, connecting with that. I might not know how to write it, but yeah, I can just write da, but I'm having the intention that I'm connecting. This represents greatest service for me. And we're just gonna focus on this character. So to write this, you're gonna have just a straight line across, you know, lift your brush or your pen, and then you should go down to the middle and around, okay? And what I want you to do is not worry about how it looks, okay? You don't have to show us if you don't want to. And there's a process, you know, it's just actually you're giving your heart intention, okay? You wanna give your positive love, light, um, you know, and positive information to the Tao calligraphy, you know, just putting your heart like, thank you, you know, the universe for helping me with my request. For those of you who are students, you know, Tao calligraphy students you, or practitioners, you can turn on your treasures. Uh, what we mean by treasures is these special blessings that Mahatma often gives us, you know, and that provides more positive information and light. If you are, a Tao calligraphy practitioner, you have some authorities that you can um, turn on to kind of support you to, or down hands, right? To support you, bring that positive message onto the paper, okay? So all you wanna do is bring your love and light and put it on the paper, okay? So you can, for some of you, just, you can just trace the Da. Those of you who are Tao calligraphy students, you probably have your cards, or a sample of what you wanna write, you can start tracing to connect with that message as we prepare for our writing, okay? So I'm gonna keep this up for a moment until some of the students, if there's anyone, is there anyone who is not familiar or not comfortable with the writing? So if you don't have the ink and the paper, you can use a pen and just a regular paper. If you didn't bring that and you have your water paper, for those of you who are Tao calligraphy students, you can use that, but you know, there's something with the ink, but you could still use your water. Some of you have put your holy water, or blessed water in there. Um, but what you can do after is after you do your writing, maybe you have a picture that you print up. So you have like a written copy um, or a, a printed copy. And um, there'll be a reason why we will, we want something, um, and it doesn't erase for now. Okay, so da. Again, straight line across, lift up your brush. You're gonna usually go down to the middle of the horizontal line, like a sweep, side sweep, and around. And again, don't worry if you're a new student, how it looks like. What we just want is put your heart in there, no judgment, you're just giving like our love, you know, and our well wishes. If you believe in, you know, whatever spiritual fathers and mothers of the universe, imagine that you're channeling in all of this love and light, their um, support for you, and you're gonna bring it through the paper, the writing, okay? So let me know if anyone is ready, if everyone is ready. I'm going to start writing. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start. 
I'll display my writing. Can everyone hear me? I'm not sure my, if the other mic is working, but you can hear me now, right? Okay. So um, I'm not sure you're, you can see, but you can, in the coffee zone, We tend to grind the ink stick. And you can put a little of the best powder. And you just, so for those of you who have this, this is a meditative. So as I'm doing, even if you don't have it, you can just close your eyes and meditate. To prepare. And just again, think about your um, goal, your intentions. And also think about the word that you're writing, which is the word that you've chosen. And you can just repeat the message of the word. So you can say it in English. Meditate. So many of them are coming to I thought so the greatest So um, I wrote so I had this thing. Usually um when I used to take short. Fifteen minutes, we would uh, meditate and do that. So, get your paper ready. Let's do it together. So, can I just relax? Nice breath in. And we're going to just dip our brush. And like we mentioned, just take a beautiful in. You want to just allow yourself to, you know, smell the scent of the ink. Kind of feel how the ink feels on your brush. 
And sometimes you, I mean, when you really connect your four treasures and use your um, intuitive skills or your spiritual channels, as you call it, you might have a sense of when the brush says, hey, I'm ready, or too much or too little. I'm still working on that. And we're going to write our character. So I just stop on, on that sube. That sube. So everyone, you can just write dot or you can write your phrase. Okay, so let's do it together. So I'm just gonna do it. Uh, whenever you're ready, I'm just connecting. Wonderful. Maybe we can have a picture where everybody shows their skin colors. What I'm going to do, oops, okay, I'm just going to stamp it and I'm going to have um, this. I'm very blessed, Master Shaw has given authority to the adult beauty teacher. And I'm going to stamp it and um, offer blessings to the Lord. Everyone, you can take your doll and Connect with it. If you wrote your Dao calligraphy, connect. Um, if you're like a Dao calligraphy practitioner or healer. But if not, I will bless all of you for your role with this calligraphy. Even if yours was a different writing, I will offer you a short blessing with my thoughts today. Okay, so just close your eyes. And for you, receiving the message of greatest. Compassion for all of you. Also, more positive messages. Bless you for your goals and your accomplishment of your goals. Meditate for a few moments. Imagine the light coming in, the positive message of the truth. This is it. Dal Kaligavi Dots of Bay. Maybe I'm wondering, we have um we have uh Brian here with his and maybe I'll put like a galley. Everybody has their writing. Let's see if we can, if anyone wants to show them what we'll do is we'll hold it up. Brian, why don't you come in this screen? I'm gonna take a screenshot. Wonderful people. Share your photo. So if you want to, wonderful. Wonderful, beautiful. I see Mercedes with her Da Chang Shan. Wonderful, great, Heidi. Beautiful. Um, so just if you want to show, so get it ready. We have um, Brian. Okay, who else? Oh, Brittany, do you have yours? Okay, we're gonna, okay, we have great Da. Okay, we have the iPhone, perfect. 
Okay, Mercedes, you want to put yours up? Okay, one, two, three. Wonderful, perfect. Thank you, everyone, for sharing that. And um, before we leave, let me just share. So what do you do after your writing, right? You can display it. Um, let me just take this up. Okay. So you can display your writing, um, you know, at your home to kind of remind you of your first writing and your intention. But in the traditional Japanese culture in some areas, um, particularly the more rural areas, there is this festival that happens, Dondo, Dondo Yaki, that is about January 15th, and it signifies like the ending of the New Year's celebration period and a start, new start, uh, wishes for good luck and health in the new year. So during this event, they usually will burn their kaki zome, you know, so your goals, but, and any other auspicious items, you know, um, and this symbolize breaking up with the past and also the desire to move forward and, and progress. So some of you who um, are familiar, you know, you see at the stores, the karomatsu, you know, with the bamboo for good luck. Some of you have like the mochi or some, uh, the omomoris from the past year. Omomori are like these little amulets um, that, you know, many of the temples have. But this is a, a time that people will kind of burn theirs. And they, it's thought that by burning it, Again, your intelligence and skill, a lot of times in calligraphy writing improves as it is burned and fly high in the sky. Actually how high it goes you know, in that bonfire that they have kind of signifies like, oh yay, you know, oh, great progress. So we actually will have a follow-up to this for those of you who are on Maui um, and can join us. We'll have it on January 15th. And um, some of you are familiar with our Wambao ceremony, which is like the ceremony we offer back all um, a lot of, you know, um, gratitude ceremony to, to heaven. Um, so we'll start that a little bit earlier because usually we have that at four, but we'll have it at 3.30 on that day. And then we'll have um, 4.30, we'll have the Dondo Yaki. So at, at the end of the Wambao, where if so, if you do have your calligraphy, um, you can drop it off here and we can burn it for you or you can participate with us. We will, um, I think if you're interested, just let us know and we will send you more information. So if you registered for this event, we'll probably get more information to you out in an email. <laughs> so, great. And I think, oh, and the next thing I wanted to mention, if you are interested in writing Dao Calligraphy and learning more about writing Dao Calligraphy, we will have our new series that is starting on January 9th, so next week, Monday. It will go for the next four Mondays. It will go back for our local students, our regular time of 3.30 to 5.30, because we don't have the Tai Chi anymore, like from the center, right? So it will be, and I will be doing some exercises and teaching. It's not just the practice session like we had for some of you, where we just would you know, right, and then I, I give you feedback. We'll actually kind of learn um, a bit more. I'll do a little bit more teaching. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I don't even have my text number. My text number is 808. Oh, I know why. My phone is working again. You can go 808-205-6637. Mm, if you want more information, or you can just email at satorifamilywellness at gmail.com. If you are interested in joining, it will be in person, I'll try to have it in person for those of you who can, and then also online. And depending on who's there, I did you want that one more? Finish it up. Um, yeah. So I think um, because I've been working with a lot of the students, we'll finish up the 10 da. So it will be da one man, greatest enlightenment. So, and then we will probably restart da I. So for those of you who want to start fresh, greatest love, you know, more beginner that might start up maybe in February. So wonderful. I believe that's it. So does anyone have any questions or any comments? Love to have you share how that experience was for you. You want to share anything? Oh.
for me, it's a problem. Oh, if you want to sh share, you have to come here. Yeah. Oh, so Brian, I have someone who was helping me in the room. Live, he'll come up and share a little bit before you leave. This is okay. Hello. <laughs> um, for me, it's about learning to connect more and be more conscious of the connection um, while I'm writing, uh, you know, the, become more conscious of it having the field and be more connected to that. It helps a lot. It takes away a lot of the outside stuff. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Brian. So thank you, everyone. I hope you um, enjoyed today's. It was the first time we ever had this Hakizome event. Um, so again, remember to keep it with you. You can put it in an area that you will remember your goals. And we um, please stay tuned to Satori Family Wellness Center. We'll probably have more series that can help you to move um, to accomplish these goals as well. So wonderful. Thank you, Heidi, for joining. Thank you, Mercedes. Thank you, Herbert. Thank you, Amy, Brittany, Wendy, and Betty, Marlene, and Lynette. And Brian, so have a wonderful, um, happy new year and prosperous new year. May you all attain your goals. <laughs> Aloha. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Same to you. Thank you. Love you all. Thank you. Thank you.